the most treasured resource of every public library in the world is the number of books that it has at its disposal for the use by the patrons that utilizes its facilities across its network. In 1981, the number of books on the shelves of public library across the country was 1,049,526. This was in 1981. In 2016, when President Mahama's government was leaving the office, they handed over a total box of 349,941. We've successfully been able to increase the number of books now to 1,024,892 within the past three and a half years in the area of technology. And this is where I am so passionate about because there was nothing in existence when this government came into office. We've introduced the Digital Library app. Now, every Ghanaian, no matter your location, you can be able to go on your Play Store or your App Store, search for the app and download, and be able to have access to learning resources at our disposal. And this is free. Students can be able to go on and find access to their textbooks there. They can be able to watch video tutorials that are currently being shown on the Ghana Learning TV. Again, the government of Ghana has automated the library services. And so currently, if you go on our website, for example, and you go on what we call the Open Public Access Catalog, you can be able to you know, search for a book that is probably at the nearest library location. Again, we've introduced a learning management system called Edmodo, working with the Ghana Education Service and the Ministry of Education. Edmodo platform is now available for Ghanaian teachers to be able to interact with their students across the country. We've also, as a public library agency, introduce various avenues that affords Ghanaians to be able to take up micro-credential programs through massive open online course platforms. Significant among them is that we have Udemy as a partner. We have Coursera as a partner. As I speak to you, there are over 20,000 Ghanaians that are studying for their micro-credential programs. Within the last three and a half years, 191 new Ghanaians have been employed to join the workforce of this public library network. And this is because we inherited a library network of only 61 for over 30 million Ghanaians. Within the past three and a half years, we've increased the library network from 61 to 84, an unprecedented increase in the number of library network in the Republic of Ghana. Now, when we came to office, the mobile library vans that through UNESCO, President Kofor was able to procure for the library authority, all of them were broken down across the country. They were not utilized, many of them. What did we do? We took these vans and gave them life. So as we speak to you, we have all the 10 mobile vans across the country back on the road, serving the citizens of Ghana, particularly children, in resourcing and equipping the library to deliver its service. The government has again procured 20 pickup vehicles for the library authority. Again, an unmatched, an unprecedented, and an overwhelming interest and endorsement of the president's interest in education. Last year, 701 senior high school librarians were trained by the library authority. Renovation of existing senior high school libraries are ongoing. They have been equipped. Computers have been sent to these libraries. Internet have been installed in these libraries. 
we are providing shelves, we are providing chairs, we are providing reading tables across the country. For all the 61 libraries we inherited, they were in deplorable conditions. Very deplorable conditions. Government has been able to work with private stakeholders and with renovated 43 of the 61 existing public libraries across the country. It is instructive to note that the president vision of transforming the public library space was made possible under the dynamic leadership of Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, the Honorable Minister for Education, with support of a very able governing board of the Ghana Library Authority.